Welcome to BusinessWise. I'm Artie Marin, and I'm going to be presenting Tools of Management. BusinessWise is a show dedicated to providing you with tools, effective tools, to better manage your business and your life. These tools were developed by philosopher and educator L. Ron Hubbard. Tonight's show is a very special one in that we are going to be dealing with the essence of management, something called management by importance. Stay tuned. There are tools of management. This is a fact that needs to be understood and utilized by all managers. L. Ron Hubbard said, it is not man's dreams that fail him. It is the lack of know-how required to bring those dreams into reality. Tonight's seminar is all about a set of very key tools to bring that about. In fact, Hubbard developed a scale of importances on the subject of management. Obviously, to be uh, adept at managing anything, whether it's your business or your life, one has certain tools. And the ability to use those tools is what I want to address. First, I'd like to discuss with you what those tools are. At the essence of management, one has to have a product, obviously. What is valuable? What is that item or service that you are providing, that you're putting into the hands of the consumer for which they're giving you what you want. So all business, no matter what it is, whether it's creating an item, something tangible, or more intangible like a service, has at its base the quality of that product. But taking a really good look at the quality of that product, because the quality of the product and the, and the amount of delivery you make of it determines your exchange, another very important fundamental within the Hubbard management system. So we have at the bottom of this scale, and it is a scale, a scale of importance, at the bottom less important than as we move at the top. It might be a good point to share with you what is at the top, because at the top of any management activity would be its end result, the goal or goals that a company or an individual has. Below that is the purpose, and by purpose we mean the route chosen to reach your goal. Some people wish uh, uh, have a goal for uh, a healthy population. Their purpose then would have something to do with proper uh, uh, chiropractic, holistic, or medical care to bring about uh, a healthy population. Below the level of purpose is policy, the rules of the game the truths about your business, how things run when they run successfully. So we have goals. The goals are supported by purposes. The purposes are supported by policy. And below that are plans. The plans implement the policies that support the purposes that lead to the goals. And of course, in order to get plans done, we have a breaking down on smaller parts which Hubbard referred to as programs, projects, or orders. Orders get projects done, projects get programs done, and of course, programs complete plans. Below the level of orders, we have something called an ideal scene or ideal scenes. This might not sound like a management tool. Yes, it is, because an ideal scene is a requirement by a manager to be able to determine what an area should look like if it was operating well. If you can't envision what it should look like, then it's impossible to correct anything because the existing scene is working towards the ideal scene, if you see what I mean. It's an ability to be able to look at an area of the business, 
understand what it should be doing ideally, and then recognize areas in it that are not ideal and do something about it. One determines what to do about what based upon stats, which is right below ideal scenes. Statistical management, the measurement of each area of the activity or business. And again, we're back to where we started, which is products. In other words, on this scale, if I might review it again, at the bottom we have products, valuable final products, as Hubbard refers to them. The end result of what you're delivering into the environment must be valuable and it must be final. We measure that those products and we measure how much we're delivering by statistics. Statistics measure how much valuable final product is going into the environment. And as we produce better and better statistics and as they rise, things are becoming more ideal. The difference between the ideal and the existing is caught up or achieved through those next levels I just mentioned. Plans, programs, projects, and orders. It's planning. It's the utilization of resources, the bright ideas, and the strategies that allow a person to go from where they are, the existing scene, to an ideal scene. And all of that is monitored by policy. All of that is monitored by how things work when they work well, what has worked in the past that will work tomorrow. That becomes policy. And policy has another function, which is to support purpose. Policy allows the purpose to be achieved, which then brings about the final end result, which is the goal. At the bottom of the scale, is what Hubbard refers to again as the valuable final products. What is it that you're producing, an item, something tangible, or a service, that others find so valuable they're willing to give you what you want? On a scale of 1 to 10, measure 10 being the highest, your company, your activity, your product or service against that criteria. Are you delivering a product that is valuable and final? because that is going to determine your exchange to a very large extent. That is going to determine what you get back from your output. Up from that are statistics, the measurement of how much valuable final product you are putting out into the environment. Are you tracking the numbers? Do you watch them carefully? Do you evaluate them on a regular basis? Tonight, we're going to be concentrating on these two factors, production and exchange, production, the valuable final products that you produce, and how you measure your statistics. And again, let me reiterate that while there are other levels to this scale, and we will be covering them in other shows, the fact is that the foundation of the scale lies in your ability to create a product that others find so valuable they're, giving, they're willing to give you what they want and your ability to manage that production through statistical management. Let's begin with this concept of valuable final product because a product can be named precisely. Now that's pretty easy if one is producing a, a writing implement. We say, well, we produce uh, pencils. But that's not quite complete, is it? In the Hubbard management system, it's important that every single employee, from the executive, the CEO, down to the, the person who sweeps the floor at night, must have a concept, an idea, a very specific view of exactly what it is they're producing. Now, that would make sense. While we say that I produce a pencil, in fact, a more specific way of looking at it is I produce a, a graphite item that when one writes, uh, you can see the writing. It's, it's a lot more specific. Let's take another example. What is the product, for instance, of a nurse? Well, you could say, well, the product of a nurse is a, a happy patient. No, nurses don't produce happy patients. Um, the nurse's 
functions or the nurse's products, so to speak, which is not a function. In other words, a product is the result of a function. So while the nurse may try to keep a patient comfortable, the fact is that her product is a comfortable patient. Let me take it a little further because the utilization of this tool of management and valuable final products and the naming of them is indeed a tool. This tool is incredibly valuable when used to its fullest. Let's take an example. We have a company that um, is a publishing company. They publish books, they ship books to people who've bought them. And let's assume that your shipping department, we're getting a lot of complaints about the shipping. So what do we do? We apply this tool. We go to the shipping department and we say, shipping manager, shipping the head of the department, what is the product of your department? And the shipping manager thinks about it and he says, well, the end result, the end result of all my doing, because a product is the result of doing, not the doing itself. He says, the end result of all my doing is shipped books. That's the product I produce. Shipped books. Now, of course, he doesn't produce the books themselves. That's a company result. But he says, I produce shipped books. Now, with that, one then immediately knows why there's a problem. Because shipped books is certainly not valuable enough, and it's probably and surely not final. What do we mean? Well, how about shipped books to the right address? How about timely shipped books with the right invoice? How about timely shipped books to the right address with the right books in the package? How about securely packaged? How about securely packaged and aesthetically looking packaging? Do you see? There is more to it in terms of defining, or, or as Hubbard puts it, naming the product precisely. So now the shipping clerk or the shipping manager has a much broader view. He's saying, well, wait a minute. In other words, what I produce on a regular, constant basis are timely shipped books to the correct address, aesthetically packaged and secure, that arrive at their destination with the right order. That's what I'm paid for, nothing less. Wow, okay. Well, in order to do that, I'm going to need, see, I've not been doing that. We just kind of package them up any old way, and we don't really check the invoice. And so I'm going to need a table to lay out all the supply tools. I'm going to need this, and I'm going to need that. And suddenly, we have the secret of organization.